Going in my iPhone. Hey guys, it's Evan Sellers here from the Polar YouTube channel. And today is our first Tuesday Tech Talk. It will always be on Tuesday, but we might not on every Tuesday have a Tuesday Tech Talk. This Tuesday we're talking about why I gave up on Apple iPhones. Now this is actually my third iPhone 6S, I believe, I believe it's a 6S. This is my third one and it's bricked. Now what happened to this one is, well, Apple doesn't even know what happened to this one, but the lightning jack has been fried. It wasn't charging and it didn't fry. What happened is it got really, really hot and I shut it down. I, I put some, um, I had an ice pack and I put the ice pack on it to try to cool it down. And uh, well, it wouldn't turn on. It wouldn't. It wouldn't turn down. Oh, also, when it started to get really hot, it called all my emergency contacts and went into emergency mode. So that's kind of weird. Um, I was actually on a swim trip and my mom was like freaking out. So me and my coach took a selfie, holding up the today's newspaper, sent it. This is actually my third iPhone six, and after that, I had had it with Apple. I said, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with the iPhone. And I wanted to move on to an Android before this phone. The problem was I was stuck on iMessage. It was the one thing keeping me there. I'm probably going to do a talk about a new um, open source platform. Well, not open source, but new um, communication standard Google's coming out with called Chat. It's actually an acronym. I'm going to do a, a talk about that and why it would be nice if Apple had implemented it, but they won't implement it. And it has to do with if they did, I would have left so much sooner because the group message and messaging features on the iPhone are amazing. The fact that I can pick up my iPad and text is amazing. Now I can do that with my Android now with a program called Pushbullet. If the phone is down or off or dead. Pushbullet doesn't allow me to send it. It talks with an app on my phone which it, it sends it to my phone and says send this as a text. And if my phone's dead, it won't work. I can't get on my iPad when my phone is dead. I actually can't get on my iPad at all and text anyone. I can get on any computer in the world and text someone, but not on my iPad. Um, I can do it on my Mac because I can do it from any computer in the world. But it's it's limiting. Now I do like it push bullet a lot because it allows you to do more than just texting. But you know, it's not as good as iMessage. Just just not quite on that level. And that is why I got rid of this. Now the one before this was the first or the second one was my fault this is the third one the first one or the second one was my fault the second one I was getting out of the car seat and I unbuckled my seatbelt and I was holding it like this on the phone and the seatbelt came up and slammed the screen and cracked it now that's not what broke it I'm a swimmer obviously and apparently it got chlorine damage and Apple just refused to fix it and the one before that was bricked again I plugged it into my computer to back it up, and it just went down. I mean, I it was it was my Apple computer, and I plugged it in and started the backup, and it just disappeared. Now Apple actually completely refunded that purchase. He got me a brand new iPhone, um, but this one, the last two, they didn't obviously. So then I got a Google Pixel, Google Pixel 2 XL, and I absolutely love the thing. I love Android, and maybe I'll do a video on how how much better Android is. But don't get me wrong, I'm probably still an Apple fanboy. I still have, I'm still rocking a 2010 MacBook. I love that thing. It is amazing. Been everywhere with it. Um, it was actually originally not mine. It was originally my dad's. He gave it to me for school about four, six years ago. And I've been carrying it ever since. Oh, I love this machine. This machine is amazing. Still runs Fusion amazingly. It runs most of the Autodesk programs amazingly. It does video editing as long as it's an Apple video editor program pretty amazingly. Um, it won't do like Final Cut Pro and it won't do oh uh, DaVinci. I use DaVinci sometimes. It won't do DaVinci real well. Then again most of my computers don't run DaVinci real well. But I love this thing. I got all these stickers. Polar sticker right there. Ooh, nice. I know. Basically once this phone was bricked and Apple refused to fix it and they said I could pay like $400 for a new phone and they'd take this one. I'm like, no, no. And I found the Google Pixel on sale for a really good deal actually. I was actually originally going to Best Buy and planning on getting a Samsung Galaxy S something. 
and I saw this phone on sale, and this has always been my dream phone since I saw the first one come out, and I said, no, I'm going to spend the extra money, I'm going to get that, um, because it was on super mega sale, it was actually cheaper to get that than a new iPhone, than a new iPhone, than replacing this phone, actually, um, so I went with that, and I love the phone, I'm actually filming on it now, so I can't show you it now, but yeah, hope you guys liked um, this Tuesday Tech Talk, it's pretty good, next time I might do... I don't know, some on something else. Oh, chat. I'm going to do it on chat, open source chat protocols. It's going to be pretty cool. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.